Hi, if you want to be a successful exporter, not only to Russia, but manage your business, export business from uh, your head office in uh, 99 different countries of the world, this video is for you. Because we speak today with candidate of Export Leon of Flemish region, and this is the Gianic Solution Group. If you work in food safety business, you know this company under brands like Palisto and PJNIC. Uh, doing business in Russia might be, to a certain extent, uh, complex, but you, know, you can argue that doing business in, uh, in, in China or in India or in many other comp countries is uh, equally uh, complex. But it is, if you do it right, it is a very profitable business. Hi Nick, thank you very much for participation on this interview. So we want to ask you some questions. Uh, how to be successful and to export in 99 different countries? I have some news. Uh, since yesterday we have the 100 countries. We, we, uh, <laughs> We uh, just sold the project in Jordania, which is uh, the hundred. Uh, two years ago, you was nom nominated as candidate of Export Leon because you made big change, uh, big jumps in uh, export business. So, and how your business is going now, and who are your customers? Yeah, we are a small, a medium-sized company that was growing very fast worldwide. And we work for big multinational oh. players like. Uh, Nestle or PepsiCo or companies like Sherkizovo. We have done projects uh, in, in the past. And Russia, uh, for sure, such a big country, uh, has been uh, a focus in our export strategy for more than a decade now. Uh, because uh, the food industry is big, I'm not going to tell you that everybody uh, is has the capacity to work uh, with us. No, it's only a certain part of the, of the market that can, that will and can pay uh, uh, for, for top products. Uh, but this is uh, such a big market that it's very interesting to to, uh, to attend to those people. Okay, could you give us three main tips? What is the secret of your export success? Um, my, secret, I, I, my secret I cannot share, otherwise it's not a secret, but <laughs> what are three success factors of our business? First of all, and that's very important that you have a unique, strong product uh, that, that, that you represent. Uh, what is very important also is local partners, people that know the language, that, that know the sector, that know that they have a, that have a network. You know, uh, we are very flexible. So we, 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 we listen to uh, what people want. Uh, we advise them. Um, we want to be close with our customers. So um, uh, that's the, these are three success factors that in, over the years uh, have have helped us to, to grow international very strong. And are there some special things which make business in Russia successful? The food industry is very big in, uh, in Russia, uh, but once you have a certain name, once you have a person that is, that is involved in, in this sector or other sectors, if you work in other sectors, it can open uh, the business uh, quite fast. So it's, it's important to have somebody that can assist you with that. Uh, if Russian, if Russian cost, uh, companies are not allowed to uh, import uh, cheese or other products or, or import them at very high import rates, what do you see? What did we see is that there's more production of uh, camembert even, you know, in, in, in Russia, this French cheeses, the they're all over. They started the companies of production of certain kind of uh, of cheeses. It has a, a, a certain new kind of investments uh, came up uh, that were very interesting for us to, to follow up. Because in the meanwhile, poultry has declined uh, investment in, in poultry, but then you see investments in, in other types of uh, of um, food sectors like dairy, like like cheese. Uh, Nick, in Russia are 64,000 food manufacturers, so it's a big market for them. But how do you find them? How do you do your prospection job? Yeah, yeah so uh, it's important to be in touch with your, with your prospects or customers. So we always uh, um, invested in uh, trade exhibitions. Uh, and Russia is even more than other countries uh, that local trade exhibitions are important. Our, our group of companies, 
normally we're not so active anymore in local exhibitions, more in international exhibitions like Anuga or IFA. And there you will also meet a lot of uh, Russian customers. But a local exhibition as Agroprotmash is very important for Russia, not only for Russia, for the whole uh, ex-Soviet uh, region. Uh, uh, you will have customers coming over Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, uh, Belarus. Uh, so um, uh, that's the for us very important. And is the language an issue? Yeah. Let's could you communicate uh, with Russians in English language? You have to make sure that everything is in Russia because uh, uh, English is, is spoken in uh, in Russia, but a lot of people still don't speak uh, English and it's normal, it's a very huge country. Uh, Russian is also a main language uh, in, in other uh, countries uh, in, uh, around in that region. Uh, it's a business language, uh, let me say it like this. Uh, so um, so it's very important then to to, uh, to attend those people, to send mailings in, in, in Russia, Russian, to have a Russian website, to have uh, your communication Russian even, even uh, on, on social media once in a while uh, that they feel that you take care of them that you that you uh, uh, that you know their language let me call it like this and what do you think how often should you visit Russia and your customers uh, there except of the trade fair of course yeah I'm, I'm the commercial director so I'm, I'm uh, before I, I visited uh, um, as a sales manager uh, Russia maybe three four times uh, a year now somebody else uh, is taking care uh, of this uh, Herwig Nolet and uh, yeah he tries also minimum three to four times a year uh, depending of, of, the, of the projects and and, um, and the, the project that are running or, or, or demanded so he tries to be there three or four times a year in Russia minimum sometimes they need uh, technical assistance especially in the renovation uh, and then we try to be there, uh, give them uh, uh, help. We try to keep close contact with each other and and see what's uh, living on the market. So it's, it's important to be there. Uh. Difficult was it? Difficult to find uh, good to uh, Russian-speaking agents for Russian region? Yes, it is. Um, it takes time. Yeah, we have worked with several people. Uh, some were uh, a while. Uh, very trustful, but as a European company, you have to also be careful. Uh, they think they can do it, uh, and then they found out it's not. Uh, um, sadly, that happened once or twice in, in, in the region. Um, but uh, but uh, yeah, but that's that's in any country uh, uh, the same. Eh? So um, uh, the, the the most problematic thing is find a person that that thinks the same like your company that uh, so but you just have to find the people that, that think the same like you and that give that message to the to the customers nick thank you very much for your expert advice yeah, and your information which will be valuable for many companies once you know how to work uh in the russian market uh, it can go fast it can <laughs> go very slow but just make sure that you know how to get your products there, that's that's important. Uh, so don't be afraid of the Russian market. This is more specific than many other countries, but chance of success is also very big. So in case if you have more questions or need more advice, contact me, contact me, and let's keep in touch. Uh, from one moment in another, you can have, yeah, you can have really something falling down. You think it will not come back. You have to stay there. Because people accept this new exchange rate after a while, they will see, oh, this is the new situation we're in, and then they'll go up again, you know, and and hopefully the rate will will be better uh, after a while, and then business can can go even faster. But then again, suddenly the ruble, uh, mm -hmm. the reality I've I've noticed the last uh, uh, ten years, uh, it's it's yeah. not always uh, so so stable. Uh,